Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. I will be announcing a giveaway at the very beginning of September in celebration of my first two years here on YouTube. It was September 10th that I posted my first unboxing and it has been a fun and wild ride ever since then. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I've got one of our favorite monthly lifestyle boxes here on the channel and that is the Etoile box. And of course, Etoile means star in French. This box is $39.99 plus $4.99 in shipping. But if you use the code Noel 10 you can save $10 on your first box. She does something really fun, which is she does a different box to go along with the theme every month. So I just think that is such a fun detail and this one definitely has a kitchen vibe in case you couldn't already tell by the graphics there. So this box was sent to me for a review and I'm always excited to see what the curation looks like because she does such a fantastic job of really making it feel like you got items from your favorite local boutique. So inside we just have a little sheet uh, that has a little information about one of the items had to be replaced because you guys know the supply chain right now is crazy all kinds of things are getting delayed costs are rising and they're already super expensive compared to what they were just a few months ago so she did have to replace one of the items in there uh, so this is the little card it just says cheers and the theme is the cozy kitchen which I kind of love that so kind of a nice transition into the fall months so it looks like we've got like a nice board like a big spiral pastry there that looks really good and then inside, this is what it looks like. There's usually kind of a featured product and then a bunch of other items. So let me just double check and see how many things we have this time around. It looks like we have got six items and there is always an edible treat in this box, which you guys know is one of the features that I absolutely love. So I'm just trying to figure out what it is that is being replaced. So I just gonna have that card up in front of me so I can tell you all about it when we get to it. So the first thing that I am seeing, which is taking up a bunch of space, but also it is the snack. So that's what my eye is drawn to first is this big box of Mama Geraldine's aged cheddar cheese straws. You guys, this is like every everything in a box that I love, which is cheese and carbs. If you put cheese on any carb, it's something that I'm probably going to like. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's see what it says about it. It says a traditional Southern cheese straw made with 12 months aged Wisconsin cheddar. And that again is from Mama Geraldine's. Let me know if you guys have had this brand before. It looks really good. There's like a little rocker on the front. Um, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. It even tells us about it. It says snack on y'all. It says Mama Geraldine's rocking chair was nothing special, battered and worn from decades of raising children, grandkids, and the latest grandbaby, but for Mama, it held all her favorite memories. If no baby was around, Mama would rock while, while smocking matching outfits for my twins, Jackson and Lindsay. Rocking in that old chair never failed to bring back precious memories of family gathers, gatherings from days gone by. Mama's rocking chair is just as much of a symbol of love and devotion as her irresistible cheese straws created only by the loving hands of Mama Geraldine. And then there is like a little picture of her, uh, the daughter, and Mama Geraldine on the back. That is so cute. I'm so excited to try those but you guys know I don't do taste tests because once I start stacking, I will not stop and I like to take some photos for over on Instagram. So, all right, now that I've got that distraction out of the way, a little more space here in the box to look around. Ooh, this looks good. So it is some hand soap and you guys, we are all still washing our hands. That is one of the habits from 2020 that I think is a great thing for us to keep carrying on. So this is from the Farmer's Lavender Company and it's a nice little pump bottle. This is, I love these because you can just put them by any sink in your house and it's easy to use as much as I love a pretty bar soap. And this sounds like a really nice scent, lavender, chamomile, kind of soothing. So let's see what it says about this. Farmer's Lavender Company Lavender Hand Chamomile Soap has a soothing floral scent. This soap has an excellent lather and leaves hands feeling moisturized, enriched with coconut oil and argan oil. Er aromatherapeutic product. So nice. All right, let me see if I can smell it. I don't want to obviously pump it into my hands, but... Ooh, ooh, wow, that is really nice. It's not super strong on the lavender for those of you who are not like huge lavender fans. It smells like a nice hand soap. It smells refreshing, but there is like that hint of chamomile, which I really, really like. So nice little pump bottle, super excited about that. All right, 
we have got something else okay so this is the item that was a replacement so i think we were originally going to get some girl meets dirt mini spoon preserves i like a second edible treat uh but this is still a second edible treat this instead is from capital b company and the b is spelled like b-e-e -E, like buzzing b and we got some raw frosted cinnamon honey Wow, that is so interesting. It's from Savannah, Georgia, and it just looks, it almost looks like cayenne pepper in there. It doesn't look like uh, that golden light colored honey that you're used to. I wonder if it's just because mine is a little bit cold right now, which is surprising because it has been so gosh darn hot. So I might just have to warm it up a little bit because it's, you know how like honey, you have to warm up sometimes because it'll get like crystallized. So it says, Capital B Company is known for its truly rare single varietal monofloral honeys locally and all around the country. It's our mission to find the most magnificent honeys and to provide them to our customers to enjoy. We love to spread our knowledge to educate customers and the public about bees and the marvelous treasures the bees provide. We want to thank our farmers and beekeepers for all their hard work they do to look after the bees, capital B Company. So love that. So we just replaced some jam with some honey. So either way, something good to put on your charcuterie board. Mm, all right. Not something I'm going to use with cheese straws. Definitely, those are two different snacking events. All right, let's see what else we have got for our cozy kitchen. It does make sense that we got a couple of edible items since it is a kitchen theme. We got some very pretty recipe cards. Now, let me know, when I was younger, I was so excited about having my own recipe box, and my grandma was so awesome. She, like, typed up a bunch of cards of, like, her recipes, which now, like, in retrospect, I realize we're not, like, that fancy. Like, I think the recipe I was most excited about was, like, for meatloaf. Um, but still, and it was, like, this very, um, very cool, I thought it was very, like, chic, because it was just, like, a clear, like, acetate, like, recipe box. And now, I have no idea where that is. I'm sure my mom has it in storage somewhere. Um, I, you know, we all do all of our digital recipes these days. People even have, like, digital cookbooks, or you have, like, that beautiful cookbook stand. I love cookbooks, but I have to say that I don't often use them. But what I do like to do is when I sort of tweak recipes, I need to write it down, and that's kind of what I want to do with recipe cards instead of having a box, because I just don't have any counter space, is to go ahead and put those little, like, adjustments that I might have made, or even just, like, the measurements if you, like, half the recipe, and go ahead and tuck those into my recipe book so that I have them for later on because I haven't been that good about like updating my Epicurious like uh, account these days because there was one time where like I used to have like a ton of recipes saved and all of a sudden they like disappeared and like they pretended that they never had those in my account so most of them were cocktail recipes I admit it all right let's take a look at these you guys I know I'm just chatting about recipe cards but I, it's so true I feel like you do definitely have a lot of like memories and uh, events and family memories surrounding food right so they're very pretty and simple it's just on one side it does say there's room for notes of course and like your ingredients and on the back side it's just for directions so lots of space this is the poppy's recipe cards from favorite story these gorgeous pop poppy recipe cards were created by the illustration and design company favorite story and are perfect for jotting down your favorite recipes in style so I'm curious to see how many of them we got i'm guessing it kind of looks like we got eight of them so they're a nice card stock maybe eight or ten maybe ten actually so nice card stock and i will kind of tuck those by my my recipe books which i have not been using very much lately because admittedly i do not cook very much especially in the summer months because my kitchen is tiny and very hot all right so but in the fall months i like to like shift into like my baking um so i'm much more of a baker these days than a cook all right let's see this is cute and definitely, again, a nice little fall transition. So it's a gratitude tray. Um, so there were two different uh, variations. There was this one in this very pretty olive green that just says simply thankful. Or there's one that says today is a good day for a good day. That's kind of cute. Um, I love the green. The other one was white with like blue writing. So this is beautiful. You could use this as a little catch-all. And it's a good reminder at the end of the day, like if you're taking the change out of your pocket or taking the receipts, out of your wallet to be grateful for the day that you've already had it says show your love and gratitude with one of these simple yet elegant trays our high impact fiberglass trays are food safe dishwasher safe and stain and order resistant they are strong enough to act as a serving tray light enough to be hung up as art and pretty enough to be used on a tabletop and along with all of our products they are completely made in the USA and this is from finding home farms as usual I will tag them when I can over on Instagram so super cute it does kind of feel like one of those trays that you would use like in a cafeteria 
area and kind of scoot along but I just think it would be like a cute little trinket tray for like you know all the like things that we accumulate throughout the day or the week all right Finally, this is kind of our featured item, and this is from Minnie and Moon. It's a tea towel bundle, and I just have to show you how cutely it is packaged. Isn't that adorable, you guys? It's so sweet. It says this bundle includes one 100% cotton Turkish tea or hand towel and one USA made nail brush. These towels look gorgeous in the kitchen or bath and absorb beautifully for dishes or hands so you can use them in either space. The nail brushes are made from wood and natural Tempico fibers and are e ideal for scrubbing hands, nails, or for dry brushing which is a great like Ayurvedic practice you guys to um, kind of get off all of those dead skin cells. It is like not the most comfortable thing. You have to be kind of aggressive and it's a uh, I always have to like steal myself to do dry brushing but it is really good for your circulation in your skin so it just says mini and moon on there on that wood brush which is nice and the bristles yeah they're they're pretty coarse these are like definitely these are gonna get into your nails and clean things up so nice I'm happy to have that maybe once they uh, soften up a little bit I'll use it more for dry brushing but cute little like little brush to have out and it looks very like nice and like simple and rustic at the same time so it's not a bad thing to have out you could even you could even probably put it on your little tray I think it will actually fit just right Ta-da! And then let's see our little tea towels. Now these actually look a lot like um, some full-size Turkish towels that I got for the beach or um, after the shower, but this one is so soft. It actually looks a lot like one I think I might have gotten in the Be Relaxed box, but I love this diamond pattern. It's in a very soft, smoky blue. And then we've got these nice tassels where they've kind of been tied like in a knot, so they were like skinny, and then they kind of bunched them together, which is nice, so they don't don't get, you know it doesn't look too like ratty once the towel gets a little bit wetter uh, but it's a nice size though and it's very very soft and it feels like it's going to be very very absorbent as well so this is a big tea towel like you could actually use this as like a little tablecloth on like a little cafe table it would like probably cover a good size good amount of it so this is how far across it goes so you can see that's probably like 18 inches I would say and then nice and long we've just got these like bands of white on either end super duper soft super duper pretty love the colors I almost feel like I want to use it like as a scarf but it's not quite long enough for that so got a nice another another lovely tea towel for my kitchen and it's been really great getting nice soft beautiful towels I had some like a really ratty ones it was definitely time to upgrade so thank you at 12 box for that let's just go over all the awesome stuff we got in this cozy kitchen box you guys so we got our mini and the moon or mini and moon excuse me tea towel bundle this beautiful tea towel and this nice uh, scrubby brush we got our thankful or gratitude tray, which I love the color and I think it's really cute. And I'm always looking for little receptacles for all the little things that I have to organize. We got our lavender chamomile hand soap, which I'm really excited to use because it's always nice to replace that and have like a fresh scent in your kitchen. We got our very pretty poppy recipe cards, but now I feel guilty and I feel like I need to start cooking or at least baking again. We got our, let's see, the um, capital B company company raw frosted cinnamon honey so I think that would be good just like on toast right with a little bit of butter and then a little bit of honey I think that sounds awesome and then finally we got our nice big box of cheese straws which I am super duper excited about so really nice box two lovely edible items like really delicious delectable treats as well as four beautiful lifestyle items you let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was I'm gonna say I, I do like the tea towels set I think that is a really nice thing to have in the kitchen again a nice little upgrade it's always one of those things that you know it's not like the funnest thing to purchase but it's so nice when you can like throw the old one away and get like a nice new one and I'm also really excited about the hand soap I know that seems silly but I am really excited about it these days uh, let me know like I said if you enjoyed this video as well I would appreciate a thumbs up it definitely helps my channel out and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing